guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So the massive thank you celebration is on right now for Global Dokkan. Uh, this is going to be going on the entirety of the month of November, and there is going to be a lot coming. Um, there is a huge amount of EZAs. Um, you have the Parungo Wishes. Um, you know, I, I, again, I expect there's going to be Super Battle Road stages in Part 2. Uh, you're going to have the, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA, right? There's just a, a, a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, there's also the gift cards, right? Uh, so, usually on JP, these are the Wish Strips. Uh, but on Global, uh, they have them as gift cards, right? Where you're able to pick out a number of characters from this pool, this roster of 77 characters. So, uh, in this video, we're going to go over a lot of these characters. Um, and I will tell you guys which ones you should probably go for and stuff like that. Many of the characters on here are really not meta relevant, I would say. Um, so I think one of the best ways you can utilize this is potentially allowing you to grab a bunch of characters that could allow you to get, um, some of the EZA areas done, right? It's like, people are very quick to say, yeah, there's no content, there's nothing to do, but they do, like, none of the EZA areas get, like, none of these, like, free-to-play LRs powered up and stuff like that. Because remember, the Great Saiyan 1 and 2 EZA area is coming out... I don't know exactly when it's coming. It's 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 in the news. Let me just quickly check that. Uh, when is the Great Salmon Easy Area starting? It is. Well, the campaign starts on the tenth. Uh, the actual Easy Area might not drop for a couple of days after. That's typically how uh, the Extreme Challenge campaigns work, right? They drop the news, and then it's usually like a week or so after that that the actual Easy Area will drop. So you guys have plenty of time. Uh, to get a lot of characters ready to, you know, sort of participate in that. So, let's see where the gift cards. So, you can get up to seven. Um, let's see. There's login bonuses. Uh, first login gets you one. Another one is uh, obtained by logging in, looks like, on Thanksgiving, basically. Um, then you have two you can get from missions. Okay. Uh, looks like three in total from missions. Two in part one, and then one in part two. Uh, and then you get two from the Purunga, uh, Dragon Ball campaign as well. Uh, the first set of wishes, you can get two gift cards. And then for the second set of wishes, you can instead get, uh, tickets, um, for the LR Gogeta banner. This right here. Uh, by the way, dude, it's so global. Like, I just press these buttons, and a lot of times they're just like, like, it's, lo it loads so much faster than GP. It's crazy. Um... Okay, wait, where we, we want to go back right over to here. Okay, so let's take a look at a lot of these characters. Again, I, I'm i going to try and grade a lot of these characters by maybe, like, how often I use them or if they're good for any, like, content specifically and stuff like that. Outside of, like, physical Super Saiyan 2 Kefla's on here, right? She is. Outside of, like, her, I don't know that there's any, like, top tier, like, actual, like, top tier units. Kefla has got to be far and away the best unit on here, I would think. I, I think I think her, because she gets an EZA, she's gotten an EZA in JP. I think she's probably far and away the best unit on here. So let's go through. Um, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku is solid. You can get some use out of him. Dispo sucks. Skinny Boo is really good. Uh, Global is going to be getting the Majin Power category Super Battle Road stage. Skinny Boo is a crutch in there. AGL Khalifa is solid, but Universe 6 and Peppy Gals, Rapid Growth, those teams are so overpowered now. Angel Cell is honestly not that impressive. Um, but there is an Otherworld Warrior mission for the Legendary Vegeta event, which will be coming up to Global within the next couple of months. So Cell could be useful there. This Trunks is pretty much fodder. Ultimate Gohan fodder. You're fodder. AGL Golden Frieza is just, you know, a defensive wall. Um, you could get value out of him. This Goku sucks. This guy's pretty good on the Realm of Gods team. AGL Kid Buu sucks. This Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta has some minor value. Um, this Super Saiyan 2 Goku is one of the EZA area units. So, if we go ahead and take a look here. Alright, let's go ahead and switch over. Here is the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 sort of, you know, like Awakening EZA area. These are all the characters you can use to participate uh, in the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 EZA area. I think the unit is very good. Um, some of these teams, Defender of Justice, Movie Heroes, 
I think that they're borderline like a must run. I think this this unit is good, right? You do want to make sure you get your hands on them. And a lot of people complain about not only is it hard uh, to like get some of these characters because you know they're just like unfeatured in these banners, um, but then you also have to awaken them, which is not easy because the metal drop rates for these guys are not great. And then you have to EZA them as well. Um, but like now, like is the perfect time to get some of this shit done, you know, preparing for this great same and one and two, um, easy right here. Um, that EGL Goku is this one right here. Who's pretty good. He, he, he's, he's a cell. Well, I mean, he's aging, but he, he's, he's like a, a solidish unit. Kind of, um, EGL Kaoken Goku is another one of the characters on that list. As is this super Saiyan Goku metal cooler movie. Vegeta has some limited use in super battle road with a son. Tech 16 have very minor use. Tech Kaioken Goku is, is a solid unit, I guess. Um, Bra, not really too much. Angel Freeze, the same thing as Angel Cell. Other World Warrior uh, category run for Legendary Vegeta event is a good possibility there. This Blue Vegeta is kind of fodder. This Nova is not really that great. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta sucks. Uh, this is a support tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku right there. Um... He is also on this list, right? Again, there's that EGL Kaioken Goku. Here's that Super Saiyan Goku. Here's the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So a lot of these characters are on here. Um, might not be the worst idea picking some of them up. So that you can then, again, get Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 Easy Aid. Then Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan Vegeta, they're both options um, on here as well. Here's Majin Vegeta, and then there's the Super Saiyan Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta is a defensive stacker as well. You, he could be good for the legendary Vegeta event. That Super Saiyan Vegeta, um, he he could actually help you because defensive stackers are so important in the legendary Vegeta event. With that final flash of his, that could just easily destroy you. Um, Boda Magetta, I feel like is fodder. GT Cell fodder. Int Ribrian is still good for the Peppy Gal team. Int Zamasu is basically fodder. Int Mai's got some use in Super Battle Road. Int 13 sucks, but he, you know you could use him for the new EZ area on JP for the, uh, Androids 13, 14, and 15. Metal Cooler pretty much sucks. This 18 is not really too impressive. This Gohan's not really too impressive, but he is one of the units on here uh, that you could use. But he's in, so you probably don't want to use him, right? Um, you have this Golden Frieza, who's a target Goku support. He's okay. This Cell's okay. This Trunks and Gohan are pretty bad. Um, they are characters you could use for this easy area, but again, they're ints. You probably don't want to go for them. Uh, STR Demon King Piccolo, I don't think is too impressive. Frost isn't. This Piccolo is not. This Goku isn't. This Frieza isn't. I, I just don't think that they're really impressive. Uh, Majin Vegeta, you can get some use out of him. Uh, this Trunks sucks. This Vegeta is bad. Chi Chi, like... She gives massive defensive support, but she gets cream pied. Like she, she has no defensive survivability whatsoever. Um, God Topo can definitely be very good, um, but you do want to make sure to get his damage reduction active before you put him in harm's way. Fat Boo, I guess super about or um, yeah, he could have some super battle uh, viability and world tournament. Str Go Tanks uh, can have some super battle uh, viability. These two Father Kamehameha units, I think, are bad. The 17 is kind of a, a, a underrated option because he stacks as well. This beer is kind of sucks. Skinny Boo, again, Majin Power category Super Battle Road, that Skinny Boo can work out pretty well because all the enemies you fight in there are Boo Saga. Um, SCR Super Saiyan 3 Goku sucks. I've never been impressed by that Gohan either. Physical Cow can Goku a throwaway. GT Freeze a throwaway. Physical Vegeta is solid. Um, Kefla is the best unit on this list by far. I just don't even think there's another unit that really competes with Kefla. I mean, Skinny Boo is good, but Kefla is, again, far and away, um, best unit on here. Physical Chi Chi is sort of okay, I guess. Kale's solid. Borgamo is solid. Kaoken Goku sucks. This Trunks sucks. Champa sucks. This Gotenks is not really too great. This Goku sucks. Uh, this Goku right here is another one of the units on this list right here. Uh, that is this guy right here. He's pretty good. Um... You have this GT Goku, not great. Super Saiyan Goku from the cooler movie. Super Battle Road option, I guess. Ultimate Gohan, not great. And then Fat Boo and Piccolo, um, both of whom are on here and are pretty good options. Fat Boo is pretty good. Um, and then Piccolo is is kind of decent as well. So um, I would say, I mean, Kefla is, again, far and away the best unit on here. Um, when she gets her EZ8, her sub EZ8, she is very powerful. Many of these units it just give you no value right now, though. That's why I like... 
I, I really think you should potentially try and prioritize, you know, doing LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 ZZA, right? And then if we go to here, right, there's here's all the units you need for this EZA area. Because, again, you got to get a lot of these characters EZA to then do the Great Saiyan 1 and 2 EZA, right? So it's like, it, it is a, a long step process. But I think that the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 are worth the effort, um, you have to go through to get them. I, I, I do think it's worth it um, to go for it. I really do. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, the, the gift cards thing, it's it's actually pretty stupid that they haven't really updated this, like, at all. Um, I, I see, like, AGL Wrath Broly is, like, solid. But, like, if people can rainbow him, like, I wouldn't, like, look at someone's box and be like, Oh, shit, dog. He's got AGL Broly Rainbow, damn, right? Like, it's like, I, I feel like he could be on here, right? Like, a lot, like, I, they could, I feel like they could go up to, like, like, Gohan and Piccolo and Gohan and Frieza. Like, is anyone going to pick Zangia from here or, like, physical Nova Shenron? Like, they suck ass. You know who would be awesome, and I feel like that would be cool, would be, like, physical Tien and AGL Boo Piccolo? Like, there's no reason they can't be on here. It's it's pretty nuts that we have banner units as far back as 2018 that they have not yet added to this, right? So, let me know what you guys think about the gift cards. Uh, not the craziest thing, but I did want to give my take on it. Again, basically, Skinny Boo and Kefla are the only two, like, really, really good characters on here. Um, but, you know, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.